There's some stuff coming up today, Jimmy. Aye. Pull out. Like a bloody bullweed. What was that last spotty number? 87. Arthur Clough, and this has changed his store. You don't forget, do you? I try not to. It's quiet, isn't it? Aye. I'll bet there's not one mistake. It'll be a full house afternoons and all if I know out. Aye. You know why, don't you? Nobody says out, but it's there. They're getting their brass in while the sun still shines. It's like waiting for a cloud to come over us. Hey, you better settle it without a strike. Will they? Is that what your master thinks? I'll leave that side of things to him. I wouldn't. Oh, God, I wouldn't. I shall have something to say to him and all if he does bring him out. Master. He didn't want to go back on union, you know. He didn't push himself, Ethel. I want my husband in work. Not sitting on that step seven days in a week. They've got to make a stand sometime, Ethel. And this time. What is it this time? The best paid pit for miles. They've been for years. Everybody knows it. Well, how they just want to stop the best paid pit? Ah, well, there's a pram and a cock to be paid for in this house, apart from our girls. He's admitted he got it on tick. How's he getting on with it? <laughs> he pays for it out of his spends. He's supposed to have bought it out of his saves. Save? George. Never saved a penny in his life. And five more instalments to go, so he says. Where's that going to come from if they're on strike and there's no dole? Still, can't be bleeding him any road. He went out this morning and he come back with half a pound of best stewing steak. Nay, I'll not charge thee, he says. He does it grand when he does it, you know. Uh, he'd be scratching by now if he'd not given up smoking. I'll come back after dinner to finish this. Jack will be back afore long. Uh, will you go out round back and tell Archibald his dinner's ready? He's in closet. He's been there for hours. Reckons they've changed the beer down at the club and it gives him constipation. So give that up, I say. Give that up and all and take us out to Scarborough for a day next summer. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> It's your mum. Ethel says your dinner's ready. Uh, ah, uh, right, uh, I'll be out now. <coughs> Can I have a bit of shopping, Will? Your dinner's not squiggly today, I'm mining. Pigeon paper, ain't it? Hi. Can I have it? How much is it? Took us a week. I'll give it Osper. I'm not going to call picky for now. You'll not go call picky. Let's have a look. It's mainly about racing, isn't it? I'm going to race when Ron Yeska shows me how to go on. Is this his? It's got all about Derry Old Pigeon Derby. They give a gold trophy. Well, can't you share Ronnie's copy? Nay, I want me own. We're not mates sometimes. <laughs> we shouldn't fall out then. I don't. It's him. He gets moods on. Mark who's talking. Can I have it? Well, it's no use asking me, is it? You'll have to ask Alan. He's the one who's got to work to pay for it, isn't he? Ah, he can have it. Of course he can. What you say? What you say, then? Go get me dinner. Better ask Ruffles to order it for you. Sam, come back here. Sam! I asked you to say thank you to Alan, why didn't you? Look who got you those pigeons last week. Could have got me own. For those money. Who do you think buys the food that we eat and the clothes that we wear? Who do you think does that? Sam, love. Who is it that cares for us, eh? Me dad does. And that's all the thanks you're going to get. It's that letter from Harry. 
soured him towards me. Aye, and Dad was right to try and stop him seeing it, regardless of what's been said. Was he? I don't know. Paddy's coming back and it would only have put things off for a bit. He's no right to come back. If the lad can see him now and then, how can he be more settled? And it'll mean we can start the divorce. It's sowed it for you, hasn't it? That I'm having your bairn out of wedlock. No, that, that mustn't think that way. Bastard's a word, our Frank said. It's just a word. You're bearing a child, he said. Nothing else. Frank's right. I know that now. Back to carry this to learn it. About them that don't know, that don't learn. What are they going to do to its life? He's gone without his dinner. Club in today, Jack. Hey, I've lost the habit. Eight and three quarters. All right. Ray, listen. Let's have this one over, lad. Percy Taylor, I caught fortunes by Robbins last night. He just stood there with rabbit in his hand. And Robin says, there comes on my land fortune, land as my great-great-grandfather fought for. And Percy says, reach, reach enough, he says, take the coat off and I'll pay thee for it. Percent, right? All right. <clears throat> it's as I said, isn't it? your dinner. You're not ten minutes out of school by my clock. You're a fast eater, aren't you? Aye, I'm a fast eater. You know what this is? Stew. None of your scrag end, isn't this? Best stew in state from Ramsden's. Know what I had for this? No. Six Yorkshire puddings. What I'm having after this? No. Spotted dick and custard. Uh -huh. And the nose, what it adds up to, don't it? When the eyes is bigger than the belly, it pays to be in work. And when those in work, those master, aren't they? Wish I master at our house like you are. Oh, uh, yeah. Keep the voice down a bit, eh? Some of them don't like it, you see. Wish I were in work. I will be one day. Is it dark down, Pete? Black as I'll call all. 
But they get used to it, the nose. No point in asking you if you could manage some after you've had your dinner, is there? Could manage a taste, couldn't I? Hey, I could manage a taste. Big taste or little taste? Big and. Shows your paws then. Uh, under top, William. Isn't too feeding him, do you reckon? <laughs> How did that come about then? I went to see him about Russell's stoppages. One thing led to the other, like. And he brought you to see what you know already that tubs are coming up with 12% dirt in them. Aye. Uh, uh. Don't the lads appreciate we've got a dispute coming up? I mean, can't they keep the dirt down? We're on record as saying we've no time for them and shovel dirt a purpose. We're on record as saying that management agreed to clear bug dust a full yard from the cut, but they don't do it. You make as much sweat shoveling muck as coal. The lads are on a bad patch. Bad patches don't wait on dispute. Do you want a brew? Nah. Well, that's it's bloody ridiculous. They didn't vote you on committee to sound like merchant, lad. They voted you to be for them, right or wrong. As Fawcett said out about the letter the union sent. There's a board meeting today, sir. Lodge meeting tomorrow, then. Unless they want to see us there in person. The men's representatives standing there with his caps on his hands. <laughs> hey, they'll do it, be letter, for fear we leave muck on carpet. Yeah, sir. You know that letter you got saying that the pit might close? Have you thought any more about it? What letter? Oh, no, Jack. It went where all such ought to go. Far back's place for anonymous letters. Choose where they come from. From somebody who's wished as well, you said. I said happen it was, happen it wasn't. What difference does it make? If they want to close, they'll close. You think I want bloody pit to close? It's nine years since I were in work. I have a lad with a newborn bairn that works here. My lass that's expecting another's dependent on Alan Dakin that gets his living here. You think I'd willingly be the cause of what had happened to them? Well, the lad should know it, Larden. And... Happen that's what it was meant to do. Oh, no. No, force it wouldn't have any truck with games like that, not even if Machin had put it to him. Andy, you can vouch for him, can you? You should wait till you're a paid official lad before you do business on your own upstairs. He's on our side, if truth were known. <laughs> he gives a damn good imitation, then, for he's paid to be otherwise. Look, it's Machin that wants us to suffer. Shall we suffer them to please, Major? I just don't understand what you're getting at, Jack. You're a young chap. You'd barely be out of school the last big dust up we had round here. I don't mean these little skirmishes you've had these last few years. I mean the real thing. When you shut the front door and you wait for death before you give in to the buggers. But they don't value us, you know. Not flesh and blood as we are. Not human folk with human feelings. Cattle we are to them. If that's what they think to us, what have we left except what we think to each other? When you say, let the men know about that letter so they'll harden and cry for blood, that's cattle talk, son. That's machin and manipulation. Well, it's no worse than holding it back from them. There's the threat of closure at the end of every strike. They've closed two seams already. Every man knows it. Let them issue threats, for it's a threat choose where it comes from. Stay with the issue, lad. Well, we should not take a cut in wages. We should not do that. Ah, that's more like it. That's a good straight line, is that? They'll get a lot of agreement on that. <laughs> Except from me, I think. from the kitchen window. I didn't expect you back so soon. Didn't know it'd be ten minutes. Uh, Magda's not back. Jasper took her to Chesterfield yesterday for a long jump. I thought she'd make it. Two of the others have. I thought she were going to break my luck. Federation winner, I thought. She were grand on 40 mile. Oh, you 
you said nothing, but I knew you were worried when the wind changed. Is the board meeting over yet? Not that I know of. I'm writing to Jane. I wondered if I could tell her anything about Christmas, whether she should come. Look, I'll know when the men know Mary. Certainly no one earlier. He's had the notices printed. I left them at the office. If the board approved, they'll be put up right away. Is there a chance they won't? Eh? Is there a chance they won't? Oh, I shouldn't think so. Come on. Matron doesn't like my report. Making excuses for the men, he says. She tried living here. She tried looking them in the eyes when he snatches the bread out of their mouths like we have to do. Is there a chance they'll settle the men? Oh, I think so, I. I think they'll compromise. They've been getting away with murder over at Dirt Agreement. Would you, in their place? In their place? I've never been in their place. Even the closure means something different to me than it does to them. Closure? He's talking like that. No. It's just that putting two and two together, he's been making some strange moves lately. He talks about strategy, bargaining, negotiation. He doesn't understand them, you see. He thinks he's Wellington of Waterloo. Ah, Wellington understood his men. Machin doesn't. Be off with you! And don't come home. She's a beauty. She's a real beauty. I think that might be mine. Exhausted. Now, the wind changed overnight. Now, it's mine, all right. It's not the one I were hoping for, but still. She's not done for yet. She'll be right. You've birds of your own, Barraclough. We did have. We ate them in a pie. The grandson's just taken it up. Well, I hope he has more luck than I've had. And me too. Well, they keep getting a bit more promising each generation. That's how I do get it. You have to breed for the future. You get no for today. You know what you're after, but you know you'll not likely see it in your time. It's a big effort for something you'll likely never see when there's no for you at the end of it. Uh, it's a long-term job. Uh, it is that. Barraclough. I wonder if I... I hope the other turns up that that was open for. What is it? I'm looking at thee. Great lump I am. Soft you are. Ah, soft. I'm glad of it. I'd not have had it different. No me. Choose what? Aye. Choose what? Turn the head again. Very well. <laughs> For? Because I asked thee. Look like. 
Come and look at this, Tiger. There's naught to be laid for today, lad. What's up? Now, Ethel. Now, Lofty. Up you get. Eh? Look, Slippy, get your boots on. You what? Don't eh? waste time, I'll get you snapped in. What for? Make it? I've eight hours yet. I'm on bloody nights! Oh, love, I'm sorry. I forgot. I was just taking the turning, just nicely going under. Oh, let me settle you back again. It's too late now, waking. Oh, no, let me settle you. Go on, don't get up. It's no me. use now! Oh, all right, then, be awkward. Be awkward. At it again, is he? He had a reasonable complaint and he made it. We know what we're about. Where's your mum? Could have gone to get you a dinner. Could have popped into Dora's to keep an eye on her. Why are you not at work, Lasker? He's on nights. While there's still work. Till you lot bring him out. You lot? Who's you lot? You know you lot is. You lot. The only lot I know is us lot, and that includes you. What happens when you can't run the house on the money you take off him? You ask him for more, he has to earn it. If they don't give it to him and they never do, he withdraws his labour. You're at the root of it, people like you, asking for more bloody money all the time. When did I last complain about money to you? You've not had to. He's gotten back on face, hasn't he? He's earning another ten bob a week. Should have let me sleep, lass. Is it right? I'm sorry, lad. She riled me. It slipped off me too. Is it right? Ah, it's right. How long? F five weeks with this. It's his wage. Hey, Dad. He earned hey, it. He bled hey, for it. Dad. Go home, Dad. I'm sorry, lad. I thought he was struggling with your spence to pay for that cotton pram. I have almost. I've got five more payments. I respected you for it. You handed me a wage and I trusted you to give me it as it was. Whatever it was. A lot or a little. I have done a terrible thing, haven't I? Wicked I've been. I've used it to pay for a cotton of brown for the band. We could have managed. I told you. And now we've got a strike hanging over us and we're in debt. You've got some book by. Have I? How do you know? I bloody well know you have. And that's it, is it? Not that I trusted you and that you lied to me and let me down. I'd have told you when I'd paid off. I've got enough put by to pay off that debt and last us one week. And then what do we do? There was no doll last time, you know. That been a strike. Lads are ready to settle. Your dad seems to think different. Oh, well, my dad's on top, empty. I'm down there working with the lads and I know. Oh, well, you'll do what union tells you any road. You like bloody sheep. Sheep, is it? Oh, we like sheep when they tell us to go back and we don't. Funny bloody sheep then, eh? Eh? And you've given up smoking too, haven't you, George? I'm smoking? Because that's got me in a state. Well, it's a good job you've got a packet handy then, isn't it? I'm, I'm trying to give some thought to the future. I might as well save it for as far as you're concerned. Put that bloody boots down! Do that again, I'll tell you! I'll bloody tell you, I will! You lay a finger on me once only, George Barrison. Once only! He's gone. He's not coming home to thee this time. Tiptoeing through the tulips, George. Looking for somewhere to put her feet up, George. <laughs> What's 
the bloody gawping at? Me sitting on my step, putting these boots on. Will I start cutting down then? You've been talking to that shrew next door, have you? Well, May seems to think there'll be a stoppage. It'll not affect her if there is. There's so much to be said for being on bottom of the ladder, you can't get much lower. You will tell me if you think I should. Stop worrying. They'll settle. They will? I reckon they will, I. Thank God for that. God? You've been having a word with him, have you? Told you he'd settle it, did he? Don't make fun, Jack. I'm a hard case for somebody like thee to have for a husband, haven't I? I've not complained. It's a comfort to thee, isn't it, Chapel? Aye, it is. You'd have it down, wouldn't you? No, if it gives thee comfort, I'm in debt to it. I'll not take any comfort from thee. I wish we could have shared it. I had me full of chapel when I were a lad. I loved the singing, though. I used to love singing when I were a lad. Good tune, we a beat to it. I can remember them all. You know that? How's that then? Every one I can remember. Word for word, every one. I'll tell you what we like best. I used to sing this kind of... Mm -hmm. Mm. Stand, stand up, stand up for Jesus, ye soldiers of the cross. Lift I the royal banner, it must not so for loss. From victory unto victory, our armies he shall lead, till every foe is vanquished. And Christ is Lord indeed. Barrett sent me. They posted notices terminating us employment Tuesday. They'll take us on again Wednesday at 5%. If enough to enough. That's buggered it. About to go. Hi, hello. I'll be waiting for you when you get there if you're late. I'm not going. All right. Having a stoppage, are you? It makes no difference if I do go. I'm a dunce. I'm bottom at class except for shiny doors. What are you doing that for? So they can't get back in. I don't want them. You could find them another room, couldn't you? You shouldn't have taken them on if you don't want them. How would you feel if you were locked out? I'd be glad. I was just saying that. I would. I'd be glad. I'd go to my dad anyway. Oh, well, they can't, can't they? They haven't got no dads. They have. Everybody's got a dad. A pigeon's got a dad. They have to have to get made. Obviously, mums have brought them up. Dads don't count same as mums and those. Just somebody who gets put up with his dads. And besides, they've left nest now. They've neither mum nor dad. You're their dad now, aren't they, mum? Don't be daft. It's right. Who feeds them? Who cleans up after them? Who do they come back to? They come back from instinct. They don't, they knows. Not altogether. They come back to see thee and all, because they like thee. They'll not like thee when they come back and find they've been locked out, though, will they? They'll, they'll feel slighted. That son, they'll say. He thought he were a right good lad. And he's turned out a wrong one. They might even turn against thee. Could they blame him? Here, we're the picket. I'm a deputy. There's nobody going in and there's nobody coming out until the union gets here. <laughs> Inside, we'll stop where the men can see us. If it's all the same to you, you know the day shift have refused to come up. Yes, we know that, sir. The inspector tells me that some of the women have stones under their apron. They're meant for us, in case we falter. The deputies of management, 
The inspector means to see that they get through. We're six bobbies. There are more on way. We could be heading for a nasty situation. Look, the men want the notices withdrawn. The fields will have been provoked. The notices were put up on the instructions of the board. Look, well, can we see the board? Look, the directors have gone. They're not on premises. Well, can we see Mr. Machin? Well, he's gone back to London. And you've no to say to us. The men can sign on tomorrow on the terms laid down. It said Wednesday on the notice. Oh, I'm sorry. Wednesday was what I meant. Come on, Jack. There's naught here for us. Will the afternoon shift not go on? No, they'll not. If they did, in view of the notices, it could be taken as a lockout. It could mean that the ministry might agree to dole. I'm thinking of it from your point of view. Should it go on as it is? We're obliged to you. We're thinking on the same road. The ship will not go on. Choose what we say to him. I doubt the ministry will agree to dole any road. Oh, there are women and children out there. If you let the deputies in, it could make things easier. Ah, well, uh, we can happen do that. But we can do no else till we've had a meeting. We should do that tonight at the welfare. And the day shift? Oh, well, we should want the day shift at the meeting. Look, will Mr. Machin not negotiate? Well, the priceless remains the same. You appreciate. It's the dirt percentage we're disputing. Well, if your meeting makes suggestions, I'll see they get to it. It'll make suggestions all right, whether they listen to what we've got to say. It's all right us promising to let the deputies through, but will they let us? Look, I'd be obliged if you'd let me use the office floor, Mr. Fawcett. I shall uh, need to get onto the association offices. Well, it's a public box just up the road. You can use the office phone if you wish. Well, that'll save time, won't it? Right, bloody waste of time, that was. Matron's bloody yes-man. No, I didn't expect it otherwise, did I? Let him out, man. Let him out, man. Let the deputies through. Come on. Hold your bloody horses. What's going on? Who says we're to let them through? Committee says there's a meeting to be held first. There's a meeting tonight at the welfare. Never mind tonight. We want one now. We aren't the day shift. Don't the day shift have a say? The day shift is stopping down. Right. We're not to sustain him. For what purpose? What bloody use is there in that? Boss has got the better of you. Get your hand off my jacket, will you, son? I'm not your bloody son, brother. And I'm not your bloody brother, son. <laughs> Went the wrong. I meant it for the best. I'd have told him when I'd paid off. I tried to give up fags, I know. I tried. How's your back? My back, eh? What about my back? I said, how is it? I don't know about my back. I sleep in the same bed as you. Don't you recognise me? It went out. She asleep? No, oh, she's asleep. Wish I were asleep. Wish I could sleep through it all to a better life. But this evening no more. I swear I'm not. Your mum's just been in. I suppose you know they've got the bobbies out, that you've all got notice. So my dad at Pitgates. In his element, were he? I reckon he's for settling. Oh, I'll believe that when I see it. No, it's right. I think. Yeah, aye, you think. And while you're waiting for him coming down one street, he's sneaking down another. That's your dad. Hey, Ethel, he's straight. <laughs> Only they've been affronted by matching. They're not after my dad, a lot of them won't. Best darken to him if he does mean they should settle. 
It's a better. God knows what'll happen to us if they don't. I'll deceive you no more. Honest. Why don't you take your boots off? Hey, there's a meeting tonight at Welfare. You didn't take your rest. Aye, and I'm wore out with chewing that mutton from Ramsden. It's not the mutton, Jack. You should get that bottom set of teeth. At a time like this, I might as well buy this up a sun hat in winter. How did it go? If Machen wanted to set him against a settlement, he's done it. Well, why should he want to do that? He's got a mind like a bloody price list. The only chap that can understand it is him that draws it up, and he'd not swear to it. Will the men not be satisfied, then? It's not satisfaction we're after, Polly. It's respect. Respect? For that they've been treated as less than the muck that they shovel. Aye, and they'll get to be like them that treats them so in time, and then there'll be no choosing between them. Why don't the lads back us up, says Barrett? Why don't they keep dirt down? If he'd out about him, he'd no need to ask. Why do we want to be treated like men? He could ask himself that to more purpose. They shoveled dirt because they've signed an agreement not to. It takes two to sign an agreement. Neither one trusts the other, else there'd be no need to sign. Some shovels dirt because they're idle. Some because they don't see why the idle buggers should get away with it. Some because there's no option. It works right down the line. No trust, Polly. No trust. Well, it's human nature, Jack. And you've said it yourself. Can human nature not be changed, then? We should ask ourselves that, not each other. We should change ourselves if we're to expect changing others. What faults are they that the season me, then? You're what life made you. I know. I've watched it happen. It's fault I find in life, not in you. What fault, Polly? I'm in need of truth tonight. Happen, that's it. Happen, you've said it. That that's what we're short of. I need a truth. I don't have the mind to grapple with such things. No more do I, love. No more do I. But I've tasted the slur and I've been sickened because I felt myself to be more than what I've been allowed to be. I've been belittled and I've turned on a bit and I don't regret it. But I regret it had to be like that. By God, I do. I wish we'd talked like this more in the past. Happen I'd have understood better. I've belittled thee too, haven't I? That's another thing that gets passed down the line. Oh, I'll walk out. I'll take a walk. I shall have to speak tonight. What shall I say? I've no words, Polly. At the welfare, is it? If I don't come straight back, you'll know I've gone there. You should have bought a coat against the winter that's come in. Aye. A coat and a bottom set of teeth, and I'd be a king, wouldn't I? Sam, is it you? Where are you, Mum? I'm down here, look, by table. I've had a fall. It's nothing. Don't worry, only get your gran for me, will you? Should I like gas for you? No, just get your gran, eh? I like the pigeons, but... Please, Sam. Fetch me gran. Can't you shut up and let's say what he's sorry about? Uh, I, I'm sorry about the candles, lads. Uh, as you know, we're changing over to electricity, and uh, oh, yeah. the, the gas has been uh, turned off for some reason. Oh, yeah. 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 There'll be a bit of a delay while we're waiting for bus from Top at Knob. Uh, lads from up there wouldn't thank us if we started without them. They should walk and save the furs. They'll need them. Yes. Yeah. It's Harry Wenham from Little Moscow. They're all here tonight. I oh, sweats a lot, don't I? Oh. There's a lad outside from Thex Press wanting to be let in. Tell him to take his out, then. It's Jack Freeman's lad. He should know better than to worm his way in here. It's Gilbert and Sullivan at Bath's next month, tell him. Ah, well, 
He says he's heard of the threat to close Skeleton. Where did he get that tidbit from? He says a little bird told him. Is her husband about? Oh, they're not. Uh, he's... Oh, I'm sorry, Polly, I'd forgotten. Is it work? Oh, well, we'll need to get into the infirmary, you know. Apart from the ankle, there's the pregnancy to consider. Uh, she usually sees Dr. Willie, doesn't she? Yes, Doctor. Uh -huh. well, I'll see to the ambulance in a quarter of an hour or so. Uh, has Jack done anything about that bottom set yet? No, Doctor. Well, he'll never get his stomach into shape until he does. Well, he knows that, but... Uh, take that to the dispensary as soon as surgery opens tomorrow, if not today. That's for you. Good night, Polly. Good night, Doctor. Sam, love. Now, you're not to worry about anything. Your gran's in charge, isn't she? Yes, gran. I want you to go down to welfare and see your grandad. Tell him what's happened and ask him if he can get Alan out at pit. Now, what have I asked you? In 1928, they made the same claim. And again in 1929. Then, what happened? In 1931. Skeleton well, been working tonight, well, <laughs> Hey, we didn't come here for a history lesson. It's all the same yeah. old story. That's right, comrade, it is. But the platform's right to remind us. We don't need reminding. We've lived through it. There's a lot of the younger end that haven't. I move that we get on to what we've come about. Yeah. No, he's not. He's right. Well, on that point of order. Let's hear from the Czech Wayman. Oh, Let's hear from the Czech Wayman. I don't need to take his name. I know his name and yours. I know most of your names and most of your mutties. I'm Chet Wayman here. It's my job to stand there while they sort muck from coal. It's my job to see that the percentage of dirt recorded is the percentage that's there. And not what the owners would like to think is there. That's when you find out who your mates are. How do you mean, Buttercup? I mean, as against them lazy boogers that deliberately fills dirt. Shut up, Charlie. Me? I haven't said out. No, you were going to, though. You were going to say what I've often said to others. That we've struck a bad patch. We all like to think the best of us own. Not to mention ourselves. But we were right in first place. When we signed that first agreement that got the percentage we've just lost. For men that deliberately fill dirt, we said, for men that deliberately fill dirt, we have no use. No. And why did we say that? Why? Because we knew that the men that did were playing into the hands of the owners. Yeah. That for every shovel full of muck they chanced to get away with, somebody else, one of us, had pay the penalty. Oh, yeah. That being so, that being so, the first demand we should make of the owners is that only them that fills the dirt should be penalised and not them that don't. That's right, there, Jack. They'll be asking for that when we are dead and buried. What's, what's going on now? We have been provoked today by a move on the part of the management that was intended, intended to provoke us. And they know, and we know, that to suggest that we sign on again on Wednesday we have 5% dirt allowance is bloody ridiculous. Aye, aye, aye. Seven percent we get now. And on price list as it stands, and they don't deny it should stand, we are the best paid pit in the area. So we should be. It's the artist's theme. Oh. It seems artist. Oh. <laughs> I stood for that agreement. Me and the committee at that time. They offered us six, and we said no. We stood for the full seven. We stood for it, and we got it. And for nine years, because we stood for it, they kept me out of work. And that's part of the history lesson to Kirby. It's been mentioned on this platform tonight. And if it hadn't, you'd not have heard it from me. That if we carry on the fight to keep that 7%, they'll close pit on us. We'll bloody close it first. Yes! Well, we've heard that before. We've heard it. And we know so much of what it had mean. Because we know what it's meant in past when a seam's been closed. But skeleton grew up around this pit. It's all we've got. Take it away and there's not. 
Not for any of us. Aye, and not for them neither, you'll happen to say. But that's not so. They can get coal at Martin and Cuddy, and they can get it cheaper. That's what they'll say, and they'll be right. And why can they get it cheaper? Because a man that works at Skeleton gets paid more for his labour than a man that works at Martin and Cuddy. Aye, that's bugger all too. Ah, and there's an answer to that too. That we carry Cuddy and Martin with us in the fight. Aye, carry them all along. Seven percent for everybody. They can't. They can't close all three. Machen knows that. He knows someone else too. He knows what any of you that's worked at Cuddy or Martin knows. That skeleton men aren't liked. Not just by the owners, we take that for granted, but by them that works there. Us all. <laughs> and why aren't they liked? You know the answer as well as I do. Because for the same labour, we get the greater reward. Ah, oh, but we earned it, Jack. Oh, we fought for it. We did. We did earn it. We did fight for it. But we fought on us all, because that's the way things were then. We knew the value of solidarity, and they didn't. We fought on us own, and we left others behind us. Let them bloody catch up, then. Is Machen in the old did I hear Machen's voice. It's his watchword. It's easy for him. He's got that much of a start on us. He knows what chance we stand of catching up. Let them bleed, he says. Let them catch up, he says. It's not them we're talking about, brother. It's us. I move that we negotiate a compromise agreement for 6% dirt, putting us in line with the rest of the coal fields. Solidarity, yes, but at what price? Putting us in line with the rest of the coal field, and from that base that we fight level and together with the rest, not divided as we are, but united. Oh, no, no. Asking him to take a cut in pay. Don't put him for it in the first place. We're not going back on it now. Ah. Ah. If we don't, if we don't unite, if we don't close the ranks, then God help the future. And the future is all we've got to gain, you and me, that's worth out. Not our future. Oh, no. There's little enough of what we want for ourselves that we shall get in this life. But we've had it better than what us fathers had, poor sons. We shall die in the muck we've lived and worked in. We shall die in a war that's been waged since before we was born. It's others that shall reap what we sowed, that shall stand on our shoulders as we stood on the shoulders of them that stood fast before us. Oh, are we not the men us fathers were? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.